everyone and welcome back to my youtube channel and today what we are going to be doing is we are testing halloween sweets out or chocolate shall i say so i've just had a right nightmare of trying to get a thumbnail done because every time i tried to the sweets kept falling out and the smiles kept falling out because this is how it is packaged and i love it So it comes like that. I'm not going to tip it up too much. Like I said, I had a nightmare to thumbnail doing that. And then it had spiders in, cobwebs. And I think it's so amazing how it's packaged. The spiders kept falling out and the cobwebs kept fall. Not the cobweb. The sweets kept falling out. Or the chocolates. I keep saying sweets, but it's chocolate. And the spiders kept falling out. So I've had a right nightmare with that. But I think we finally got one. So... I got these from the Treat Factory and this has the Facebook, Snapchat and Instagram link. Can you see that? Is it focusing? I found them on Instagram so I will leave the Instagram and that link down below anyway. Because I don't think you could really see that well. They do a mixed treat boxes, American candy, sweet cones, and then it just says perfect for any occasion. The girl was very nice, to be fair. Um, also, she was absolutely lovely. Um, the box was only £9.95, I think it was. Yeah, £9.95, and then obviously with delivery, it was £12.90. So I thought that was really good for everything you got in it. So I think that's all I really have to say. Um, I hope you enjoy my first Halloween video. Um, so it's not very spooky in the background or anything. But I don't really have any Halloween decorations or anything. Like, as much as I do really like Halloween and stuff like that, I'm just usually either at work or something on Halloween. So we don't really decorate the house or anything like that. Really. Sometimes I put pumpkins in the window and stuff downstairs, but I just don't see the point of decorating my room, really. Because um, I don't really have any decorations. We decorated it when we were younger and stuff, but obviously now we're older. My sister's not here anymore. She's gone to uni. Um, I'm used, me and my mum's usually working. Um, so there's nobody like here to do it for. I'm not really all and all through the night anyway. They're not here to do it for. So they're really using my dad home on Halloween, and then sometimes my mum as well. So my dad didn't that buzz about Halloween. So we just thought what's the point right i need to stop rambling on there but anyway let's just get straight into this video now because it's been three minutes so the first thing we are going to start off with is i think so we've got some small eyeballs and we also got a big eyeball but i'm guessing they're just going to be pretty much the same thing so i am going to try one of the small eyeballs Let's see if a bigger one for that. Let's right, see if I can get into these then. This is just what it looks like. The only things about these is I don't like it's just the paper just rips off in your hand in little bits. That is the only problem I have with it. With like stuff like that. So I just have a little circle thing looking like a Malteser. I don't know about anybody else, but does Halloween candy always taste different to normal ca candy? I say candy because I've done two American sweet ones. This is not American sweet, this is England, not American. Also got my water, but I feel like Halloween sweets always taste different to our normal one. I don't know why, but I feel like they do. So that was just a bowl of chocolate, but still fabulous. Still love it. They're probably all gone bad tonight. So next we are going to move on 
to these pumpkin ones. I'm guessing these are just going to be the same, but we're going to try it anyway. If I can get into one. Also, while I'm trying to get into these, actually, um, I haven't got makeup on because I am doing some Halloween looks after this. Um, I am posting on my Instagram, on my makeup Instagram, every single day up until Halloween. Um, so that'd be a full 31 days of Halloween looks. So if you want to head over there, I will leave the link down below for you. And you can go and check it out if you want to. So these are the pumpkin ones. They have a little faces on them. Let's try and get into this. Again, like a little more teaser. Okay, so yeah. I did think. Oh, um, I'm a real stuff. I did think these would be the same because obviously they are just like chocolate balls, just with obviously one's an eyeball and one's a pumpkin. But they are still nice. I'm going to give obviously these the same rating because they're the same thing. I forgot to say, I am going to rate them. I'm going to give these an 8. Oh, sugar, as I thought. I'm going to give these an 8 because they are really nice. They are just chocolate, obviously, but they're nice. I just lost some eyeballs, so let's pick them up. So next we are going to move on to... We're going to move on to another pa like package thing like that. And we have some Frankenstein. That is obviously not his name though, is it? Because that is the creator's name of it. Does it even have a name? Is it just a monster? I'm not sure. When, let me know down below if it does have a name. I feel like it does. I feel like I've heard it before, but... I'm not 100% sure. I can't remember. But obviously Frankenstein is the name that created it. Anyway, we also have a ghost. Dracula. Or a vampire, should we say. And I think that is it. Oh, a punky. So let's just... You think having gone nails, I'll be able to get into these easy. But I can't. So we are going to just take one of these, Vampire, and we'll give it a go. I'm guessing it's just going to be plain chocolate again. Yeah. It's still nice though. We've also got Some little coin. No, I love the coin for get um Christmas. Did anybody else get one in the stocking every single year? Some coins. These got eyes on, oh pumpkins on, witches on, cats on. I love chocolate, I can't eat too much at once though because it makes myself sick. Same with sweets, but Chris I can eat for England, but sweets and chocolate I can't eat that much of. Kind of just looks like a coin what you get at Christmas. Tastes like a coin you get at Christmas as well. But I've got a... So, we also actually have... chocolate rollers um, I'm just going to have a little bit of one because I'm guessing to be fair, should I even try it? because again I'm guessing it's just chocolate I just want to say also the chocolate um Apart from these coins, the rest of them like taste the same. These coins tasted like um the ones you do get at Christmas. They are different taste to those ones. 
But yeah, these chocolate rollers, I don't know. Should I give should I try one? I mean I think it's just solid chocolate. I'll try one. Might as well. Again, I'm guessing it's just solid chocolate, so but hey, solid chocolate can have a different taste to other solid chocolates. I mean look at those coins and those other things we've got on there. That taste is different. What have we got? We have what did it say? Um Thumbo Lolly. And then we have a witch with a cat, a pumpkin. And that is what it looks like. Oh. Okay. So I've been forgetting to rate them. So I was thinking the eyeballs and the pumpkins think eight was it? I'll give these an eight as well because the set the firm. I'll give the coins a nine because they taste like Christmas. Well not taste like Christmas, but they taste like the Christmas coin. I'll give the lorries a six. Um the lorries have a weird taste. Yeah. The lorries have a weird taste and yes, they is still in dirt all. But I feel like it just doesn't taste that nice. I'm gonna try and put it in the packet back in the package. I'll have it later. I will eat them. Oh that has to do. <laughs> I will I will eat them, they're just not as nice as the other chocolate. So next we are going to try, we're going to try sweet because we have got some sweets in here. So we have those, I'm not going to get them all out because there is quite a few at the bottom here. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We've got about ten I think. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine. We've got nine. Oh, I'm dropping up. We've got nine. Little eyeballs. Obviously, you don't really see them all also. I mean, different colours, I think. Yeah, different colours, but. Oh, that's quite gross, actually. Oh, uh, it's so shiny. That's quite gross. We're going to try this. I look at him and chew him. You know what? Yeah, that's quite good. I'm on another one now. But I'm not gonna. Because, like I said, I start to feel quite sick when I'm um, eating a lot of chocolate and that. And I can start to feel it now. So, I'm not gonna have any more of them. At the moment, I'll probably give these like a nine, if not nine point five, because they are very nice. I'll enjoy them. So next week, I'm gonna try these Cadbury Goo heads. Next week, these are gonna, these are gonna be what I thickly about. Smell nice already. I haven't even bloody opened one yet. Because they're individually wrapped. Okay, they are quite tiny actually. They individually wrapped. And I can already smell them. So let's get into this. Oh, that was quite easy actually. We've got like sorry, we've got like a cream in the middle. I thought it was gonna be like cream egg. I don't like cream eggs, but it isn't. The cream in the middle is quite hard. You know, I rock hard, but not very, very smooth like um, it is in a cream egg, which that was mine. I don't like cream eggs at all. But I'm actually going to give these 
a 10, I think, a 10, because they are very nice. I won't recommend eat quite a lot of these because they are very thick on what they are good. So next we are going to try the dairy milk Oreo Girthy egg thing. The personal. Again, smell delicious. Looks like that. Oh. So I'm guessing this have got chunks of Oreo in. Maybe. Mmm. So you've got a chocolate around, and in the middle, you've got the cream with Oreo bits in. I might have to put all these in the fridge. But these, again, really nice. I think I'll give these a 10. But I wouldn't recommend to eat those off because, again, they are very sickly, even more so than the other ones because they've got chunky Oreo thing in that as well. So, it's so, the last and final thing I've been waiting for. I've wanted to try one of these last year, but they don't really do them around in my area or in my Tesco or anything. So, I'm excited to try this. We have. Da, da, da. We have the limited edition orange twirl. I know I see a lot of people rave about these and I just really really want one. I've never tried it before and I'm excited. I bet not let me down. But I want to eat more of that. I'm starting to feel sick, so I'm not going to now save it. I've got chocolate all stuff in my mouth. But 10 out of 10, easy. I've got chocolate all stuck in my mouth now. So, that is everything that came in my Halloween box. So, my foot is um, rumbling, gurgling, whatever the word is. But anyway, so comment down below if you would like to try any of these chocolates slash sweets. I'd just be intrigued to see what you would like to try or do you want to try any other Halloween sweets, chocolate or anything like that? Let me know down below and Thank you so much for watching. Um, I hope you have a great day. I will link everything down below for you. And have a good one. Bye.